Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Uh, so today I thought I would show you a couple of ways that you can pull in a gamma exposure to view this. Uh, so one of the first ways I'm going to show you is actually using a Python script seen on the screen right now. Um, I'll also show you how you can do this uh, using Excel and their real-time data with Thinkorswim. And then lastly, I'll show you how we can actually pull this into Thinkorswim uh, with a, a few custom indicators as noted right here. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to learn how to actually calculate gamma exposure. Um, so this is a website. I'll share it in the description. Um, one of my Patreon subscribers shared it with me about a year ago, and this is an excellent resource. Um, I'm going to advise everyone to go here and read this maybe a couple of times uh, because there's a lot of information here. Um, you'll be better off just to come and read all this than for me to try to explain um, gamma exposure and what it is. Uh, but anyway, if we want to scroll down a little bit here, um, a couple of things. Um, first of all, you're going to have to get um, options data. Um, if you don't have Thinkorswim, there is a free resource, uh, the CBOE right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that and load it. And we're going to search for the SPX. We'll go to options. I'm going to choose all and then expiration all and view chain. And then I'm going to come back in a minute because it's going to have to load up all 13,000. Um, rows for this, so it's going to take a few seconds. So while this loading, I'll come back right here. So this is the formula for calculating gamma exposure. So really, the main things that you need are the spot price, uh, gamma, and open interest. Um, you can get this stuff from Thinkorswim, um, from this link that I just showed you, uh, this CBOE site right here. So our SPX data has probably loaded. So what you'll do is you'll scroll to the bottom right here. Um, and you want to download this CSV. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that. So I've went ahead and entered the formula here uh, just for the put side um, on this data that we've just downloaded. And it's basically the put gamma times the open interest um, times 100 times the last price of the XPX, with that at this time is 5641, times the last price again, times 0 0.01, and then times negative one because we're calculating puts here. If you're doing the calls, you do not have to put this negative one in. Uh, but that'll calculate the put gamma. And then we'll just drag this down just like this. And then that will calculate the put force. And then we would want to do the same thing for the calls to calculate it. But because this data right here does not update, um, I'm not really going to spend too much more time on this actual sheet right here. Uh, what I do want to do is come back over to the site here, and if we keep scrolling down, um, he's got a couple more formulas that you can enter. Uh, but the nice thing is there's actually a couple of Python scripts close to the bottom here that work really well. Um, the first Python script um, has you uh, download the data from here, um, which is fine because you can get pretty much data for any stock that you want in here. And it works good. But what I like is if you keep scrolling down, he has an update number two right here, update two. Um, you can copy this right here um, if you're familiar with Python. And he has it labeled gamma profile command line. Um, so once you've downloaded either one or both of these um, Python scripts, um, the GPCL is the one that he has labeled um, Gamma Profile Command Line. That is the second update. And that's probably the easiest one to use. Um, the first one, you actually have to download the data, uh, which is what we did earlier from the CBOE. Uh, which was this data right here. And you want to make sure that you do not edit or change anything in this file um, for this Python script to access it. Because even if you just save it without changing anything, uh, for some reason it breaks the structure of the file and it will not work. I'm not really sure why that is. And also, if we want to view that first file, um, if you decide to try it, you need to make sure that you name it the uh, CSV as a filtered SPX right here. Um, when you download it, it's actually going to be downloaded with a different name. Uh, so you do have to rename it um, to what the script calls for. But anyway, this is the file that we're going to look at, um, which is the gamma profile command line. 
And so in the command prompt here, I'm just going to type gpcl.py space and spx. And what this is going to do, um, it's actually going to connect data um, from the CBOE servers, and it's going to pull in um, all of those um, expiration dates and options and everything. It's going to pull all that data in for us. So now it's actually going to give us um, a few charts. Uh, the first one is going to be just this spot gamma exposure right here. And then the next one is going to be just the uh, open interest um, across all strikes. And then this is going to be total interest um, or total gamma, I'm sorry, um, across both puts and calls. And so this last one actually takes a little while to run. Um, it, it can take 30 seconds to a few minutes. Um, so you really just have to sit and kind of wait a second um, because now it's kind of calculating um, all of the gamma exposure. Uh, so it's finally loaded. This took a little over a minute for it to load this, um, but we can see the spot price right here. And this is actually where gamma flips from negative to positive. And then as far as the lines go, um, we have exclu excludes the next monthly expiration and then excludes the next expiration, which would roughly be today. Um, so that is why all and then excludes today are, are so close together. But that, that is how you use the Python script. And I really like it. It works well and it's easy to use. Uh, so next we're looking at gamma exposure pulled in directly from Thinkorswim using the real-time data. Um, I have a number of videos on how to pull in real-time data. Um, to kind of show you how to do this. Um, and in this file, I'm actually pulling in pretty much all of the option Greeks, um, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega. I'm actually pulling in a custom one as well um, for both the puts and the calls. And once you pull this data in, uh, we do the same as we did um, earlier in the video. And we just calculate the gamma exposure um, for both the put and the call. And then I've went ahead and just... Um, tallied up the total for both the put and the call. And then that tells us what our total is right here. Um, so currently for this expiration, it's negative. Um, if we want to look at other expirations, um, so, you know, today is Tuesday and we could go to Friday and that will show us our gamma as well. But this only shows um, gamma per expiration, um, how I have this Excel file built right here. Um, so this is the Friday expiration, and this is showing us about 60 strikes, I believe. But that is how this works. Um, you get a lot more adjustability if you try to build this stuff into um, Excel um, as far as just how you can manipulate the data. And I could actually do a lot more with this. Um, I plan to. It's just finding the time to do that. Um, a link to this file will be in the description as well. Um, it is available for all of my uh, premium Patreon subscribers. And lastly, we can pull up the uh, gamma exposure um, per strike on the options chain in Thinkorswim. Um, I have a number of videos on creating um, custom watch list columns, and that's basically what this is. Um, I will leave a link to this um, for free down below in the description. Um, I did use ChatGPT to kind of help build this. Um, I did take a few liberties as far as um, scaling the number down um, because uh, Thinkorswim doesn't deal with such a large um, value um, in the billions. Posting this right here. Um, another thing is because it is a custom indicator, um, it can lag the system a little bit. So I would say it's probably the least used way I would use this, but it is um, free, uh, freely available to you. And once again, I'll leave a link to that in the description um, and it will be fully free. You'll be able to just download that and add it. Um, like I say, I have videos showing how to add um, custom indicators as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye.